Hi guys, my name is Steve and welcome to Disruptive Wealth Creation. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Tesla cars and electric cars. So if you were going to buy an electric car, would you buy a Tesla? Yes or no? That's the question. The future of, of cars is electric and that's been determined by two factors. One, climate change and to the government imposing rules and regulations stating that we have to reduce our carbon footprint and slowly slowly petrol cars and diesel cars are going to be phased out um, so basically worldwide we're going to see more and more electric vehicles driving on our streets personally if you do have a petrol or diesel car you might want to start thinking about selling it because as we get closer and closer to our deadlines of banning petrol and diesel cars, your car is going to be worth less and less. So depending on which country you live in will depend on how soon you have to buy an electric car or at least not be able to buy a petrol or diesel car. That could be 5, 10 or 20 years away. So which electric car would you buy? Well the best car on the market at the moment in my view and also in the view of what car magazine which is a UK publication is the Tesla car and the Tesla car was given a five star rating. At the moment in the UK if you want to buy a Tesla car with the subsidies it will cost you just under £40,000. That's quite a high price for many people and Tesla have recognised this and what Tesla have said is that in two years time they're going to be bringing out a new European model slightly smaller car and that will cost £25,000 so you may be wondering if you wanted to go and buy a Tesla car tomorrow how would you buy one? well you can buy it either online or by mobile phone and people have tested this and found that they can buy a Tesla car in under two minutes and that's not bad because when most people buy cars they tend to go and see a dealer they sit in the um, dealership they have to fill in lots of forms phone calls are made and it feels like hours trying to buy a car not with Tesla they're super efficient two minutes and under you've got a car ordered and it's delivered to your home address so Tesla who are they? Well, they're a company that's a disruptive company. They're changing the world, basically. Their cars are best described as computers on wheels. When you buy a Tesla car, you, you get an app on your mobile. So if you want to um, make sure that your car's warm before you get into the car, or if you want to cool the car down before you get into the car, you can just use your app. Likewise, you can use your mobile phone like a fob, getting in and out of your car. If you want to, you can even summon your car to make the car independently drive towards you, either from the garage or from the drive. So, does Tesla save you money? Well, let's have a look. If we look at fuel costs, there's no competition. Electricity, charging from home, charging from a supercharger is cheaper than um, going to the local petrol station. A full charge from home would probably take you about 9 hours. You'd get over 200 miles on the clock for that and it would cost you around about £30. So if you were just simply going to be using your car to go around town you could probably get away without seeing a charging station for at least a week. If you couldn't wait 9 hours to get a full charge then for an hour it's 44 miles so you don't have to sit and wait for nine hours at home to charge your car up charge it up for a couple of hours and get yourself out okay now then um, there, there are some people who have shown some sort of anxiety in terms of charging stations and locations well currently now there's over 13,000 charging stations and locations in the UK you can find them in supermarkets like Asda um, and you can park your car in the supermarket, go and do your shopping, come back out, 
and then get into your car and drive off. Alternatively, a lot of places at work now have charging stations and uh, if you drop by to a friend's house you could politely ask them if you can charge your car and uh, you'll probably get the electricity for free if you're lucky. Looking at maintenance costs, with electric cars it's a no-brainer. A Tesla has only two moving parts whereas an internal combustion engine car has over 200 so potentially more things can go wrong and break down in a petrol or diesel car. So that's why dealers like petrol and diesel cars. They can make more money servicing cars, selling spare parts. That doesn't happen as often with Tesla cars because Tesla cars don't need a service really because nothing really breaks and um, that's why they're a better bet. So there's no oil changes or oil filters, spark plugs, alternators, exhaust pipes. Those things don't exist in a, in a Tesla car. So it's a win situation on that. Likewise with for safety, in America the National Highways Traffic Administration they did a survey of 900 cars and what they found was that Tesla had the lowest probability of injury or collision in a collision. So in a crash only one person in every 3.34 million miles who drove with autopilot was likely to have a collision and, and suffer some injury. Again another worry amongst people is fires because they believe you get fires from uh, car batteries in electric cars. Well again a safety um, tests were done and in America again they found that from the 300,000 cars that, that Tesla has produced only, four to five, only 40 fires uh, occurred in over 7.5 billion miles. That compares to um, internal combustion, combustion engine cars where there was 174,000 fires which was one in every three minutes in America. I mean to be fair there are more cars that are non-Tesla cars but still that is a high number. Um, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gave Tesla a five star rating. They also looked at rollovers, so when a car is involved in an accident or it has to swerve and it rolls over, they found that Tesla had a 50% less chance of rolling over in an accident than any other car in its category. One other factor which was interesting and people talk a lot about is criminal damage. When people scratch Tesla cars or the damage trust Tesla cars, all Tesla cars have uh, cameras on them and those, those cameras provide evidence to the police to find the culprits that have caused the criminal damage and that's good for safety for Tesla cars when you're involved in an accident of any sort you have the evidence to show it wasn't your fault or exactly what happened. Also Tesla cars have trackers which means that if your car is stolen then the police can find the cars pretty easily and they can also identify their perpetrators because as I've said earlier uh, the cars have um, cameras on them. Tesla cars also have autopilot and, and that enables you to improve your existing functions on your car the steering, the acceleration and the braking within lane all those things on the computer help you drive your car better and safer. Uh, Tesla also offer the uh, traffic aware cruise control system and have the auto steer uh, with cameras and sensors which enable you to navigate a lot better uh, on more complex roads. One issue that used to be an issue which is no longer an issue with uh, electric cars and Tesla cars was range. This is no longer a problem. You can drive a, a Tesla car for up to 250 miles on a full charge and if you have a home charger and you drive locally you probably never have to see a a, a charging station for a week as I said earlier. In summary would I buy a Tesla car? Yes and the reason being it would save me money in fuel costs, it would save me money in any kind of service charges. The car doesn't depreciate because it has a computer on wheels. Every, every few months what happens 
is Tesla sent up an, an update. Um, so, so basically it will say to you, your, your car can drive a bit faster or it can charge a bit quicker or it's got more entertainment on the app or it's got better autopilot. So all those things, if you add them all up together, you feel like you've got yourself a new car. So basically, as things stand, you are saving money on buying a Tesla car. But then let's look at the future. Potentially, if, if you buy a Tesla car, as we move closer and closer to full self-driving, when that occurs, your car then becomes a robo-taxi and it can make you money while you're sleeping. So let's say you have a 9 to 5 job, you come home from work and then you let your car out on the street and overnight it's out there making money for you as a taxi. So all in all, it's a vehicle that it's not just an invest it's not just a money saving vehicle, it's also an investment. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like and as I said before, this is just for entertainment purposes. Do your own diligence if you decide to take any action. And if you have enjoyed the video, please give us a like. Press the subscription button for more content. And I hope it's added value to your day today. And have a good day. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.